Hi, y'all. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Today we have a treat. We have Spear Gold Dot versus HST. These are kind of the two rounds that everybody swears by right now at the moment. We've already gone out and filmed the test. We are doing three different barrel links. We have a SIG P229. We have a SIG P239. And we have a Smith & Wesson Shield. The Shield has a 3.1 inch barrel. The P239 has a 3.6 inch barrel, and there's a 3.9 inch barrel in the P229. So, three different barrel lengths, all of them a compact length. These are both 180 grain, 40 Smith & Wesson, and you can see what they do right here. We had a 16 inch gel ballistic block. Most of them did make it out of the back of the ballistics block because they penetrated more than 16 inches, which is good. We used four layers of denim. So it's not going to be a completely scientific test for those of you that get triggered by that in the Facebook comments, but it's still going to let you know some good information. So you can see the bullets there, first chronograph, and then you'll see the ballistic shells. Here we go. We got a three guns test, Federal HSD versus Spear Gold Dot. First up. Sig 229. Over the chronograph, let's go. HST 180 grain first. 1036. 1024. 1011. 1038. 1011. And I rode the slide really. I, I felt myself ride the slide release on six. I always do it. Sig 239, 180 grain, Federal HST. Here we go. 1021, 1039, 1047, 1009, 1020. Roll the slide release. <laughs> That's what I do with Sigs. Shield MP 40. Here we go. Seventy, nine seventy three, nine eighty seven, nine seventy seven, and nine eighty five. Those kick pretty good too. Here we go. Sig two twenty nine. Spear gold dot. We had a jam, failure to feed. The magazine didn't look like it was good. And 9891. 991. Sig 239, 180 grain spear gold dots. Here we are. Ready? Yeah. 1007. 1011. 1003. 1008 and 1009. Kept my hand off the slide release that time. And shield 40. Here we go. 239 in both the Federal HST and the Spear Gold Dot did better than the P229, even though the P229 has 0.3 inches more of barrel. So pretty interesting note there. I guess mine just has a tighter chamber or a better lockup. Those things can also affect it, not just barrel length. Put what you think in the comments. I'm pretty sure in the number section, Federal HST wins. But that standard deviation from the P239 definitely wins that. Stay tuned for the rest of the video for the ballistics gel test. Here we go. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. 
You saw the add up slide over the chronograph with these. We've got ballistics gel with four layers of denim, water jugs behind it to try to stop it if it goes past that. On top is the Federal HST 180 grain. On bottom is the Spear Gold Dot. Here we go. All right. Right where I wanted to aim, it locked open on the next round. That was weird. Go spear gold dot 180 grain sig t229. Now we're going to do the shield. First, I got the HST. And then I've got the spear gold dot on bottom. There we go. All right, let me undo this and get safe and correct the target here. That was the HST. Now we have the gold dot out of the shield. Cool. All right, I got the HST on top of the SIG P239. The second one in the mag is the spear gold dot. Got a little high. It's going to make the gun safe, take the gold dot out, and reset my target here. Looks like that one definitely penetrated the uh, water jug. Yeah, that one actually came out the top and penetrated the water jug. Interesting. I'm going to shoot that 180 grain HST again since it went out the top. Here we go. Spear Gold Dot 180 grain. That one might have gone out the bottom. I hit low, but that's all the space I have in the gel block. So. Let's go see how we did. Big paths through the ballistics gel here. Turn it over here. So this is the 229 HST. That's the 229 gold dot. Shield HST. Shield gold dot. This was the first HST I shot out of the 239. This is 229. This is 239. This was the gold dot I shot out of the 239. And then since this one curved and flew out the top, the HST, I shot another one here in the middle. So, with the HSTs, you can see we've got, that's a spear gold dot, HSTs that penetrated out the back of the 16 inch block. We also have got one HST, the very first one here in my pocket, uh, we found in the snow. Kurt found for me, thanks Kurt. And this one came out the back and hit the water jug here. The one that flew out the top pierced the water jug and bounced on the table. So it had enough energy to pierce the water jug and bounce on the table. So we captured those. We're going to actually have to dig into the block for the rest of the spear gold dots. And there's one more HST as well. All right. Oh, here's a spear gold dot. Went out the back as well. Came, looks like it was from the 239. So that 239 came out the back from the spear gold dot.
I don't see any more spear gold dots or HSTs, do you? Nope. Everybody say hi to my buddy Kurt, who's out here with me today. Doing a fantastic camera work. Never done it before. For you. <laughs> For me. <laughs> me and him rag each other worse than Chuk and I do. Yep, I don't see anything else. Do you? No, I do not. That means we probably lost a few. They might have bounced off or something. But Let's Open that up again so you can see the... Yeah, you can see how big the cavity's got. The HST's just got a huge cavity and still got great penetration. Spear gold dot, not as huge a cavity. Got good penetration, still opened up. I wouldn't want to be hit with either one. And I don't see any on the ground around here or anything else. So those are the five that we found out of the seven in there we shot. So, four layers of denim, your federal HSTs and your spear gold dots. I say HST wins, but you guys put what you think in the comments. Spear gold dot's still a good bullet, still legitimately a good bullet. So I think HST wins. You guys put what you think in the comments. So... I got this little Lyman powder scale. Figured we'd weigh these bullets, see how many grains they are. Here's the Federal HST, 179.4. 179.4, the other Federal HST. And let's see this Federal HST right here. 178.9. Spear gold dot here, 179.7, probably the closest to 180 grains so far. And the other spear gold dot, 178.5. So not too shabby. So with the spear gold dot, we got 0.628 inches. The other spear gold dot, this one opened up a little bit more, but bent back the pedals a little bit more. We've got 0.597 inches, Federal HST, 0.688 inches, point six five seven inches, Point six three five inches. So like, subscribe, share, join us on Patreon, subscribe star, all that jazz. If you want to keep seeing tests like this, HST versus Spear Gold Dot, 40 Smith and Wesson, Federal versus Spear, and 180 grain. I do plan on doing a nine millimeter version of this. I have done one in the past, it wasn't very good. I plan on redoing nine millimeter uh, when nine millimeter gets back in stock. So Spear Gold Dot versus HST. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.